What up, YouTube? It's Omniarch, and today I'm gonna bring you a brand new video talking about something that made me want to punch a dude in the f***ing face. Alright, look, it's earlier in the morning. I don't want to get angry in this video. I'm tired. I don't want to do this, but I saw this video last night on Facebook, and I just could not believe it, dude. I... I got so angry that it made going to bed actually difficult because I just couldn't believe that I literally just watched this actual video on the fucking internet and people took it seriously uh, and it was pissing me off. So let's talk about it real quick. I'm going to play it for you guys. Uh, you know, it's by the guy whose name is... He goes by the name Prince A or Prince E. I don't know. It's, it's spelled E-A, so Prince A... Ah? Ah, I don't know. That that that's the noise that I make when I watch his videos. Like, ah, are you serious? This is really what you're fucking talking about. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. I I want to talk to you guys about this video. It, it's a piece of shit. Okay, so brace yourselves. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You motherfucker see Batman, dude? At least he likes Batman. Hey, we're off to a good start, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he could've put any fucking action figure in there. Thank God it's Batman. Let's see where the video goes from here, shall we? Yo, guys, this might be the deepest song in the history of songs. Roll your boat. What is the boat? This, this body, this life form. Are we not 75% water? You, did you guys hear that? Row Your Boat is the deepest song in the history of songs. Don't worry about any of the other songs in the fucking world. If you're looking for a deep ass song, Row Your Boat is your fucking shit, dude. Yeah, man, don't don't worry about any songs that are dedicated to people who like committed suicide or songs that people made as national anthems out of love for their country. No, 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 fuck all that shit. Row Your Boat is the deepest song that any human has ever created. Uh, so I don't know why we keep making music. We've already reached the pinnacle of meaning as far as a musical talent. But let's let's see why, okay? You know, he said Row Your Boat aren't human 75% water. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but that doesn't make fucking sense because the human you're saying is the boat and and boats are not 75% water, bro. You, you kind of got that mixed up there. There's a little bit of a difference there. There's a little bit of a, co a conflict of interest. You know, boats float on water. Humans are the water. So I don't understand what you're saying. But whatever. Let's keep listening. Rowing every time we walk. The song says, row your boat. Take control of your life. Row your boat. Because imagine how fucking hard it would be to row someone else's boat from within your own boat. Like, you're, you're, you're in their fucking boat, right? Someone rows up next to you and is like, hey, bro, my arms are broken. Can you row my boat? Like, a reaching over to fucking row this dude's boat would be impossible. Of course, the lyrics clearly say row your boat because that's the only boat that makes fucking sense to row. It's not some deep inside meaning. It's just... You can't row another man's boat, bro. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I feel like why, I feel stupid even explaining this to you. Like, you can't row a boat that you're not on. I don't understand, dude. It, that That's not like, that's not saying like, you know, the lyrics are not implying you can't row another man's boat because you should be focusing on your own. No, they're implying you literally can't row another person's boat physically. It's, you just can't do it. It would be so fucking impossible to row someone else's boat uh, it, it, it's, it's not some deeper meaning. It's just, God damn it, dude. You are the captain of your ship. You hear that, guys? You're the captain of your ship. I love this part of the video because he actually takes off his hat and puts on a captain's hat. Uh, and I just, it's just so funny to think, like, he probably scripted out this whole video and he was like, yo, I'm gonna make this really, really deep video about row your boat and, you know, oh, I should get a captain's hat. And he literally fucking got in his car and drove down to, like, Walmart or, like, some craft store or Halloween store or something and purchased a little, uh, little fucking fake captain's hat just for this video. Like, I picture that in my head and I just think it's hilarious, uh, uh, you know, that he took this so seriously that he went out and got his own captain's hat. Stop worrying about somebody else's boat. Don't take their paddles from them and try to row for them. You can give them direction. I wonder if the hat actually came with that uh, that golden pimped out uh, telescope or whatever, or if he actually went out and bought that as well, just for this little uh, deep meaning part of the video. He's going out and buying all these things, but he couldn't buy like real fucking paddles. Like he's got little uh, little wooden spoons there for paddles. Little, you know, they maybe they worked for Batman, but they don't work for you, dude. You're a full grown man. Show them technique, but they have to row their own boat, and you have to row yours. Gently down the stream. Gently 
not forcefully, not fighting against the current, but going with the flow. You, you heard that phrase before, go with the flow of life. I am totally a go with the flow kind of person. If you've met me, you know that's how I am. I, I just go with the flow. But that doesn't make sense in the context of the song, Gently Down the Stream. Dude, I've never seen someone row up a fucking stream. The lyrics of the video are not a deeper meaning. It's literally common sense. You have you rowing down stream because rowing up the stream doesn't make fucking sense. It's not that it's not like they would say up the stream if that's what it would fit metaphorically in life. No, they say down the stream because you can't row up the stream, dude. You can't row up the stream. This is not a deeper meaning. You can't fucking row up. You do it, bitch. You do the you do the up the stream and show me that it's possible and then explain why you should do it the other way gently down the stream. Oh, because it makes fucking sense, right? That's why the lyrics say gently, gently down the stream. Not because motherfuckers are confused rowing up the goddamn stream. Jesus Christ, dude. There's two more minutes of this shit? Fuck! Because when you argue with reality, you lose. So flow gently down the stream of consciousness. Merrily, 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 merrily. Not struggling, 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 struggling. Not seriously, seriously, serious. No. Stop walking around like you got a finger stuck up your butt hole. Like you got a finger stuck up your butt hole. <laughs> Dude, this whole video has been like super serious and then he talks about like walking around with a finger up your ass, dude. What the fuck? What? Oh my god, that was just such a change in direction, such a change of tone. Uh, I don't understand. It's not struggling, 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 struggling. I just don't get it, dude. The lyrics are very straightforward because if you're going to row down a stream in a boat, it likely it's for fun, it's for leisure, okay? Why would someone struggle down a stream? Think about it, dude. He's saying the lyrics are merrily, 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 merrily because that's how you should live life. I'm telling you, that's the, the lyrics because when you're rowing down a stream leisurely for fun, you are likely merry. You're not likely stressed or, sh or struggling or serious or anything like that. Uh, it's not a deeper connection here, dude. It's not a deeper connection. You're just rowing down the fucking stream and you're having a great time. Maybe you brought a friend with you. Maybe you cracked open a beer. You're chilling. You're hanging out. Maybe listening to some music. You're merrily going down the stream. Not because that's how you should live life, but because you're chilling on the fucking stream, bro. What? Th how is that so hard? Why are we making this so hard? I don't know. The number one cause of death is stress. And what is stress? How you're interpreting what's happening to you. Scientists have proven that in your brain, there is no difference between anxiety and excitement. The only difference is how you're interpreting what's happening. I have no qualms with what he just said. All of that shit is true. I am very, I am a firm believer in that, uh, in that sense. But the problem I have is that he's using all this bullshit metaphor from a clearly cut child song to imply all of that thing. Like, are you trying to make it more relatable to the entire public? Because you're honestly just confusing motherfuckers because they're not going to understand where you're coming from. That one bit that you just said, I totally agree with the whole anxiety and excitement thing, the whole interpretation of your situation situation thing all those make complete logical sense to me but it doesn't make sense on how you applied it to this fucking song before you kind of ruined your credibility there in my opinion i agree with what you're saying but like i said your credibility is a little bit fucked now because you sound like a complete idiot shakespeare said a tragedy is a comedy misunderstood it is all about interpretation be happy Harvard researcher Sean Aker says that 75% of job and school success is predicted by optimism levels. Dude, there's that 75% again. I don't even know. I, I feel like he's making up these fucking statistics, dude. There's What are the odds that both of these things are 75%? That's a little bit convenient, don't you think? But I do. Again, I agree. Optimism is very, very important, and it determines your success to an extent. But I don't... I just... You're really, you're really stretching to make this connection here, and like... I don't I don't understand dude I just just talk about what you want to say don't try and make some sort of deep metaphor to a child song that makes sense without your bullshit not only are optimists physically healthier but they recover more quickly from illness and live longer because life is but a dream Ooh, ooh, life is but a dream Ooh. are you 
talking about Inception? I mean, is this a dream? Are we dreaming right now? As we go to sleep tonight, does, does this world of our strong ideas, passions, and loved ones not effortlessly disappear? Replace with others? See, all the ancient sages and gurus said the same thing. This is a dream. This part got me fucked up, and the reason is because I've totally meditated on this idea, and not meditation and like I sat here for 45 minutes and I'm moving and focusing on my breathing. No, I've actually thought about this before, and it actually is pretty crazy if you think about it. The only difference between real life and your dream world is consistency. The real world is consistent. Every day you wake up and it's the same thing, whereas every time when you go to dream, it's completely different. But uh, you couldn't tell one from the other without that consistency. There really isn't that big of a difference because you still perceive dreams in your brain just like you perceive the world in your brain so that part is again it makes sense I like that idea that idea in itself is a great idea and that might be the only fucking part of the song that you've connected to an actual idea through metaphor life is but a dream okay those lyrics can't be reasonably assigned to rowing a boat rowing a boat upstream unreasonable rowing another man's boat unreasonable but life is but a dream the only connection that you could come to is that yes don't take life so seriously and this is the only thing that you've got going for you in this entire fucking song this lyric is the only one that makes sense out of all of them that you've connected to a real life experience or whatever a passing dream and it is your duty to wake up to the truth that you are powerful and you choose how you see life. Stay woke, motherfucker. Every morning when you wake up, you can either say, good morning, God, or good God, morning, peace. Did he just say good God morning? Good, good God morning, good God morning i can't figure that fucking sentence out if you can if you can understand that shit decrypt it and put it in the comment section below because i don't fucking know what he means by that but whatever god this video just gave me a fucking headache i swear i told you at the beginning of this video i just woke up i didn't want to have to deal with this but i just hated the video so much last night and i really wanted to make this video for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video and please drop a like because i know i'm gonna get a ton of people disliking this video because they're gonna be like uh who's this fucking faggot who thinks he's leafy uh is he actually Actually reacting and roasting to uh, people on the internet uh, that's actually uh, fucking leafy's job you fucking faggot so uh, you should probably go drink bleach and fucking kill yourself cuz you're the cancer of the internet so by dropping a like you're actually helping fight the fight against these pieces of shit that like to come to my channel and dis dislike videos like this one so dude if you enjoyed it make sure you smack that like button and if you do when I meet you in person I'll give you a high five for every single like that you've posted on any one of my videos I'm keeping track trust me we'll we'll be doing those high fives for a long ass time because you're a loyal sub and like all my videos right hey but anyway make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and that's a bit of guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys later peace